it's barely news. Uh, little stories that we wanted, thought were interesting enough to tell you about, but that we didn't really have a lot more to say about. So, um, and the first one is the flying phone case. Yeah. Um, we've uh, seen, I don't know if you remember, but there was basically a phone that advertised to be flyable uh, and it mm-hmm. had these little tiny propellers on it. We showed it on the news a long time ago mm-hmm. and it was kind of debunked by a bunch of this, people. There it is. There uh, it is. Debunked yeah, as there fake. You go. Um, uh, but this guy made one that works. So yeah. Kind of cool. Old Peter, Sh- Peter Shrippel helped, uh, helped uh, debunk it as fake. And then it looks like Mark Rober and Peter Schrippel made one. And then this guy made it even more. Uh, it's a bicopter design. Very clever. Uh, we know that bicopters are a thing that can exist. And it's just a phone case that holds your phone and hovers. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, not, not, not super useful, but, uh, no. neat <laughs> Is it? Th- is it? Does it just hover in place? Is that all it does? I believe so, yeah. What is it running? Is it running RG Pilot? I have no idea. That part I do not know. I mean, if it's going to hover in place, you'd think it was running something like RG Pilot and maybe have a downward facing optical flow sensor or something. Attitude and position it, hold. It does have uh, like a flow sensor on it for sure. Wow. Yeah, and then it can, you know, you got a tripod in the air. See, look, you just put it where you want it, and it doesn't stay in the same place. Yeah, uh, it probably moves. gets better. Yeah. It probably gets better over time. Oh, yeah, look, it's got a, looks like it's got a, a IR or a sonar optical flow sensor. This is a hell of a project. This is a great video. 151,000 views. Good. I'm happy to see this video is getting uh, some attention that's amazing yeah pretty cool stuff all right well yeah now we all we need is if only there were a way to have a camera that could take pictures from a drone without having to put your phone on it ah well it'll never happen (laughs) uh next up we've got uh, got a uh concept boat uh which i thought was pretty uh crazy but also fits very much in barely news um my company has developed a 160 foot super yacht concept uh that would be possibly piloted with a VTOL that's attached to it oh so oh, you take you know... off on the VTOL and then you drive the boat so i saw i saw a a, a a tiktok where a person was driving a yacht and the, the problem, uh, I mean, I've driven small boats and they're very hard to steer because you can't see the whole gosh dang boat. They put the they put the, the pilot's captain's whatever wheel, they put the steering wheel all the way in the back of the boat. And then the boat's like this and you're like, how am I going to freaking park this thing? Parking, I think is what they call it. Right, Blinty? <laughs> Yeah, And so this uh, TikTok, the guy had a remote control for the yacht and he was like standing on the bow so he could literally drive the thing in. And I thought, like, that's pretty damn cool. But th- so this is uh, solving a similar problem. Yes. I guess. Yep. Uh, it's also nice. they also talk about just flying your VTOL around and having the boat follow you. Not sure how practical the applications are, but it does seem uh, like an interesting concept. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, my God. Oh, no, wait. Oh, that's not a drone. It's a VTOL. Yeah. That's a car. That's a, like a VTOL car. Yes. Oh, oh, that's a that's. I thought it was just like a drone you put up and let you steer the boat. No, it's like you could like use that to go to no, shore or something. You're in it and then the boat follows you. That's the idea. Yeah. Well, what's the range of that? Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I just be on the boat? Why would I want to be flying and having the boat following me when I could just drive the boat? That doesn't make sense. Now now I hate it. I've changed my mind. Uh, What I imagined it was was cool to me, but what it actually is I think is silly. (laughs) All right. Okay, let's move on. (laughs) Next up, we've got the Spidar. Spidar. 
It's a spider. The spider is the spherically vectorable and distributed rotors assisted air ground amphibious quadruped robot. Okay. You uh that's a backronym, clearly. Yes. Oh my god. If you turn on the audio for this. Okay. I don't know what I expected. Yeah. It is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> So it's so using, they're, they're using the motors? Yeah, drone drone motors with uh, the vectoring with the ducts and stuff to like make a robot walk with just those, like articulating through I see. Through to all drone like uh, ducting like and the, motors. The joints would be like too weak to hold all of the weight and create all the torque right. they need. Uh, so the the th the props basically just take weight off selectively. To make it seem like it's lighter than it is. Oh my god, and it can fly. It's gonna take off. Yeah, that's oh shit. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, look at those motors wobble. Wow. The pit controller is losing its freaking mind. Yeah, this is definitely still in testing. Oh no, it's gonna transform. Shut up. <laughs> what is it transforming into? <laughs> oh, just a nothing. Just a, just a wider drone. Oh, yeah. Just a wider drone. Okay. Um that oh, uh, kind of a neat concept. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything like that. Yeah, indeed. Uh, it's cool, but also somewhat terrifying. Good to yes. know. Yes, that's fair. Um, all right. Next up. All right. Uh, I titled this next one. Uh, Some birds aren't real now. Uh, yeah. We've heard about uh, birds aren't real. Well, it turns out some birds now actually aren't real. Because researchers are turning dead birds into spy drones to spy on people. What? This is a taxidermy bird, isn't it? That's correct. With a drone yeah, stuffed, inside of it. Stuffed dead birds are getting drones, propellers, wings, etc. And then they're using them to spy on people because they look like real birds. Do the wings flap or does it like have a, a yes. vertical? The wings, it literally flies? Case, they flap, yeah. <gasps> Shut up! It's, it's an ornithopter, you know, like an or like an ornithopter. If you scroll well, to sure. the top, there's a video at the top. Okay. Shut up! What the fuck? So now somebody tells you they see a bird and it's not real. This it's, is it's possible. This is like some necromancer shit. Like really, <laughs> like it. Oh, shut up! This is no burn him at the stake. Nope, that's the line. That you crossed the line right there. Whoever did that, <laughs> burn them at the stake. That's where I'm at. That's not okay. That's creepy as fuck. The flapping wings. I don't know why, but the flapping wings really creep me out. It nope. is definitely creepy. It looks like a bird. Yes. It's a, luckily, that's the goal. But yeah, it's very weird. I don't like it. Very that's, weird stuff. That's creepy and I don't like it. Good work, researchers. That's who, that's who the you know that's the problem with the world today, Blunty. Researchers. That's where <laughs> all the trouble comes from. We need to watch out for them. <laughs> okay. Got to be careful. <laughs> uh, next up. All right. Next up, uh, we got a tiny project to suck away, uh, get rid of soldering fumes uh, automatically with a little PCB project. Uh, mm -hmm. so it's kind of neat. Hmm, let's see. Yeah. And boards is on... Oh, so it detects when he takes the soldering iron out and turns the fan yes. on? Yes. Where's the fan? Where's the fan, though? That's my problem. Uh, right. I believe it's just a, uh... Oh, okay. You know, just, just to control a separate, like, external fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, my... Oh, he's got it under his desk. That's my problem is I have a fan on my desk and it's all in the corner and it's always such a pain in the ass to pull it out when I'm soldering that I'm just like, eh, I just hold my breath. So when I solder, I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. <sighs> That's literally how I solder. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, my mom knocks on the door and she's like, what are you doing in there? I'm like, nothing, Mom. Well, if you do want to use a fan and you want it to be powered, when you take the soldering iron out, 
you mm-hmm. can do that now. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, 3D printing antennas. That's pretty cool. Uh, because antenna design requires a lot of sort of trial and error and development and bending metal or printing circuit boards is, uh, you know, it's not as simple as 3D printing. So now we can 3D print antennas. Yeah, um, they were able to make a um, polymer uh, that basically is dielectric. It's dielectric resin, and they use this dielectric resin to print designs for um, for RF, for antennas. And it looks like you can create these three-dimensional antenna designs that would be like really impossible to create any other way. Like, look at this nonsense. Yeah, it definitely kinda... seems like uh it, it, it's sort of a an extension of what you can do typically so these are all antennas presumably yes antenna designs what yep. the fuck that's badass is this a, like a uh, good they, antenna in the, in the article they say that a liter of this material is 1800 dollars currently well uh i'm gonna stick to gatorade but uh yeah, yeah. definitely don't want to be chugging this stuff but, somewhere, uh, somewhere out there is someone who wants to solve whatever problem this antenna solves. Look at this E field animation. What is it? Well, hopefully, doing here? you know, this can basically solve all kinds of different things. You know, over time, as they are able to make different designs with this, and the stuff gets cheaper, and you know, obviously, three D printing is going to be the future. So, RF lenses. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Never assume. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's really cool. Yeah. Neat stuff from uh, coming out of there. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that for sure. All right. And uh, lastly, always love a story about someone being rescued with drones. Yeah, to top it off, as we typically do, we've got a uh, good story about somebody getting uh, yeah, rescued by a drone. And we've got another case where there was a missing boy out in the woods. And uh, thanks to an infrared camera drone, uh, he was able to be found and rescued. Uh, safe, safe and secure. That's not a boy. That's a, that's a baby Bigfoot if I ever saw one. Look at that. Come on. Tell me that's a human child. It's a cover story. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here they are, just like an E.T. They swoop in, they put him in a truck, they carry him away. Oh, we found a human boy. Yeah, as if. Uh, infrared drones finding Bigfoot babies in the woods. That's, how, that's what that story should be. Um, it's okay, I understand, Blunty. Not everybody's ready to speak the truth. Fair enough. 